Hello YouTube, my name is Jay and welcome to Carpe Diem. So this is going to be similar to Emily is Away. It's going to be a visual novel, a romance one specifically. A lot of you guys apparently really liked Emily is Away. I liked it too. It was really cute. It was really... I really like the style of it and I like the story. I'm, I love romance stories for whatever reason. I don't know. It just really gets me. It just gets you right there. So... So this would be a nice one to play. This is just going to be a one-off episode. This is even shorter than Emily's Away. But since it is a romance one, it may end up like Emily's Away and be uh, quite the heart tugger. So just strap in, guys and gals. Like, Though I'm not sure if I desensitized myself or not beforehand because I watched the ending of... Uh, of an anime called Anohana, and the ending is fucking like, oh my god! You can't, you just, you just, I can't think of the right word to describe it, but you can't watch it without just like bawling your eyes out. And I've had a few drinks, and it is pretty early in the morning, but this is my evening, so fuck our buddy. Mmm. <sighs> Rotobarber. Alright, so let's get right into it. Don't much about don't know much about this game other than uh the girl you interact with is called I, like AI. Which honestly I find is a very cute name. Uh because I in Japanese means love, so it feels a very appropriate name for romance stories, just like video girl I. Alright, so let's see. Jun. I guess that's us. Ooh, I like this music. At least this game, um, has, yep. At least this game has music, unlike Emily's Way. Oh, I, I, we experienced some problems lately, and we weren't able to hang out in a while. Some problems. I managed to get things working, so I can spend time with her. But it is only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. What, your time or your relationship with her? Hi. Hey, Jung. Young Jung, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Oh my god, sorry, excuse me. Oh, sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yeah, for about half an hour. Oh, that guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know? I mean, I would probably just get awkward in the situation, just be like, no, no, I just, I just got here. Half an hour is quite a while. I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about this change in society. They didn't bother because they they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Damn right. So where do you want to go? Hmm. I think... I'm not quite sure. I think this game has uh, multiple endings. Mall Park Arcade. Depending how long it is, we may skim through the room. I know a good arcade place. Want to check it out? Sure. I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. Really? Don't you like games? I do, but I usually only play at home. I think you'll like it there. We'll see. Oh! Oh! As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amaze are filled with amazement and excitement. Hey Jung, look! She points at a crane game. I has always loved cute things. I want that big spider plushie. <laughs> and she finds spiders extremely cute for some reason. Try to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. Oh. Plus she has all her attention. Her first try barely touches the thing she wants. Oh, the spider. You fucking perverts. What were you even trying to get? Hush, let me concentrate here. She manages to grab it, but still no luck. It fell. She inserts another coin and tries again. That's how they fucking get you. You end up paying like 50 bucks for a $5 plushie. Like, nah, I learned my lesson like a year ago. <laughs> Not that long ago. <laughs> and again. Oh. And again. This crane is broken. Uh, of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at crane games myself. 
But I've got to show off somehow. Oh, he likes her. He wants to show off by getting the plushie. Got it. Thank goodness. Wow, how'd you do that? Easy. I prayed to all the gods that I know of. Of course, I can't say that aloud. It, it, it's all in the timing. It was a fluke, right? Of course, I immediately stopped when I see her holding out a coin. I'll just go quiet before she asks me to do it again. I hand her the big plushie and she hugs it tight. There's some racing games over there. Wanna try it? Not very fond of those. I'll just watch you. Okay, I'll just play a couple rounds. How do you not like Mario Kart? I know I like Mario Kart. And I'm a person who doesn't like Mario Kart. Then again, I say that, but I'm not a big fan of Mario Kart. Except 8. Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart Double Dash are, like, really good. I'm not a big fan of racing games, either. I just like their setup in the arcade. Oh, yeah, we get to sit down and actually act, actually act like you're driving. They are almost completely enclosed and the seat tilts according to the game. Oh, that's fuck that sounds fucking boss. It feels real. I stands behind me and watches as I play. As expected, I lost the first round horribly. Wow, Jung, are you even trying? Bystanders don't get to talk. She plays with her plushie as I continue my game. Then again, I lost. Ah, just as I thought, this really isn't my thing. If only they had this kind of setup for a completely different game. I chuckles as if to mock me. I think you'd suck at whatever game it is. Is all you can never win against me? Oh yeah? Why don't we sell this once and for all? She points at the fighting game arcades. Oh, I love playing these when I was a kid. I was so pr Oh my god, what'd I do? <gasps> ah! Okay, do not... Do not right click. There's an inventory or there's right click again. What the fuck kind of inventory do we need? There's a lot of shit that goes in there. Ah. I love playing these when I was a kid, so prepare to get your butt kicked. I accept your challenge, Missy. Finally, a game I can play with her. It's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? Practice game. I don't know the buttons yet. I also have not played this game in a long time. We sit across each other, and her voice is all I can hear. I spend the first round trying to figure out what every button does. After starting some combinations, my character accidentally hits hers. No fair! Don't hit me yet! Hurry up, I can't wait anymore. Just one sec, how do I... Oh, never mind. Alright, I got it. Come at me anytime, bruh. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. I'm a butcher. The battle begins, and we got, we got so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. But we are more or less evenly matched. I won half the time, she wins the other half. More importantly, I get to see a side of her I rarely see. Oh, fuck! What did you do? What did I do? That? Why? She got P.S. She's a rager. Strangely enough, it's the side of her I find the cutest. Okay, I want to mention something real quick about this loop music. You can't just like like the loop of song. You can't just like fucking throw down the, the MP3 and just be like, we're done, fam. Like, it should loop like seamlessly, like do 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 do. It shouldn't like fade out. And then fade back in. Like, it should just fucking keep going. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being, like, picky unnecessarily. The buttons are not listening to me. I only see her like this when I play with her at home. Oh! Which only happened once or twice before. Oh! That's the gross. Ha! I won. Beat that. I'm just trying to keep my laughter in while listening to her. We play one round after another. Hey, no fair, I wasn't ready. The more she plays, the better she gets. See, I've only beaten you three consecutive, I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this. She laughs and stands up to stretch. Hey Jung, let's go grab something to eat. I was just thinking the same. Uh, we should probably sit down. Like, <laughs> just fucking stand in the booth. We go to a small diner near the arcade. What are you getting? Well, I guess we're not fucking sitting down, so whatever. She looks at the menu for a bit. In order to food, udon and tempura. I guess I'll get the same. We find a table while waiting for our order. And the first thing she asks is, 
Where's my food? <laughs> you just you just sat down, girl. Calm down. I know you're hungry, but geez, looks like playing games really tired I out. Patience is a virtue. Pigeons won't fill me up. Complaining won't either. If an order arrives, <laughs> thus proving that complaining does fulfill your desires. Oh look, it did. Oh. <laughs> See there. She chomps on her food like there's no tomorrow. Can you fucking sit? That's kind of. Uh, I feel awkward just seeing her stand here, presumably with us a few feet in front of her. And there's a booth there that none of us are sitting at. We're just like, oh, sweet, standing up with their fucking, like, plates or to go box or whatever the fuck. Just like, <laughs> like, sit the fuck down. It did not take a while for her to finish it. Ah! That was good. Rejuvenated? Definitely. That took all my energy. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, but we need to pick something less less active now. How about the park? What the f fuck? Like, less active, let's go to the park. So, uh, I'm cool with that. Like, you're gonna be walking around doing shit the, at the fucking park. I feel that's more active than the arcade. How the fuck? Here's a good spot to sit. I'm surprised if it's, it's a bit chilly despite the sun being directly on top of us. Yeah, nice weather indeed. It's so nice outside, and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Outdoors is nice, but indoors is nicer. She giggles a bit. I can control the weather inside. Uh, how have you been? Or I guess not weather, more so than just the temperature. Uh, same old, same old. I bet you still only eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Oh, fuck. Come on, Jung. What nutrition can ho can adding hot water give you? It's fine. You're learning how to cook for me anyway. Oh, fuck. That's... Mm -mm. You need to learn to cook your damn self. She don't know how to cook for you. She don't owe you nothing. Sure, I'll serve you. Uh, I'll serve you my specialty dish: burnt rice balls. Now, don't you go. Mm -mm. Don't you go complaining about her like, oh no, or like, whatever. I'll eat instant food because you're gonna end up cooking for me, and then back talk her fucking cooking. Some fucking misogynistic piece of shit. Look at this. Look at this bitch. You don't get any food now. You're just gonna sit there and eat your damn ramen. Look at this oh, fucking Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yes, every day. You'll kill me. That's the plan, motherfucker. We haven't seen each other in so long to have a lot of things to share and ask. I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? <laughs> Fucker, like... <laughs> this bitch asking to get fucked up. Look at this torn down apartment. You could have been like, hey, did you get a... I don't know how to word it better on top of my head. But like, fucking torn down apartment. This bitch, the nerve. Yeah, but it's a bit better now that we've that they've renovated a few things. I think my greatest worry about that place is the people, though. Most of them are old people. And they should move. Ah, uh, uh, that's that's a reasonable, reasonable concern. <laughs> they should move to a safer place, especially if they're living alone. <laughs> One good thing about I is that she can be talkative. Saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just ask a question, and she'll manage to talk for hours about it. How about work? How's that been? Total mess. Probably will continue to be. Our boss gives us impossible tasks, and most of us are pretty much fed up with it. A lot have quit already due to that, and the rest are demotivated. Then there's Troy, my coworker, who would slack off until the last minute. He's such a troublesome guy, it makes things harder for us. Sometimes he would even ask our other coworkers to do his part. Listen to her while noticing how her expression changed since mentioning that Troy guy. Yeah, because he doesn't fucking expect her to cook for him all the time and talk shit about her cooking. Fucking dip. This is one time we got... Oh, we got the processes all mixed up so bad because of him. Our boss was furious that time. Then Troy... She paused my sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. Ha! Huh, what are you talking about? Anyway, so what did this Troy guy do? Isn't Troy the name of the like, dude from uh, Zac Efron in High School Musical? See? That tone of your voice gives it away. Leave me alone already. We're all in this together. Come on, admit it. Stare at her and wait for her to finish laughing. 
What happened to the job offer you got from the other company? Oh, that? I turned it down. I need to be re relocated for that job. I don't really want a new settlement and lifestyle for just a l little bit of increase in income. It's not worth it. That's fine. I bet you'll get another job offer soon. Maybe even closer here. Who knows? Da, you miss me that much already. She really enjoys making me admit embarrassing things. Yes. So I can try your burnt rice balls already. Fuck up. We continue talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. She suddenly stops talking. I'll be back. Oh fuck, she like literally disappeared. Holy fuck. She stands, it didn't even like fade, it just like boop. She stands up and walks toward uh, the lady giving away some kind of flyers. She grabs one and waves it at me as she was walking back. She just poofs back in again. It's not like a fade of They're in a firework display. Uh, firework display later. We should see it. Yeah, I know about that. They do that here every year. Let's go then, before it gets crowded there. Don't worry, I know a good spot to watch the fireworks. It's less crowded too. This music is getting kind of catchy. It takes a bit of walking to get there, plus to go up the hill. The sun, the sun just set when we arrived, so it was starting to get dark. Good, it's just us here. Wow, you're right. This is a good view. Right? We sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots of light shoot toward the sky. Slowly fade, slowly fade and bloom like flowers of different colors. The cheers of the crowd at the foot of the mountains can be heard. Ice faces filled with happiness, just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever. But I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. What the fuck? No. No. It's time, isn't it? Time for what? Almost. Don't worry about it. It won't be long. What? What does this fucking big cho tone change? It's fine. She's gonna be like a ghost and you're gonna be like, Whoo. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for feels anymore, guys. I regret this. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. What the? What the? Don't say that. After all, I'm just... Oh, no. Oh, no, what is she? Have you heard of the Turing, the Turing test? It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to, exib to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can act or speak like a human, but however good a machine becomes, however ind indistinguishable it is from humans, it'll never be an actual human being. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Just like I. <gasps> it's like Vito Girl I, just like I said. Holy shit. No matter how good her program is, no matter how much I deny it myself, she'll never be real. We are in the same dimension in reality. She will continue to dwell inside the artificial world that I created. Ah. Uh, the program crashed again. It's expected. It couldn't go on any longer than that. I need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? There's an achievement called What Are You Doing With Your Life? Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported this first visual novel. That was... Huh. See, from the Steam reviews I read... Apparently a lot of people got like, oh no, when I saw the, saw the, what are you doing with your life? It really made me contemplate my life, but like, I don't know. It just really didn't have that big of an impact on me. Like, what are you doing with your life? Like, like I could see if someone just randomly asked me that, that like didn't know much about me or anything about me at all. They're just like, what are you doing with your life? Like maybe that, I felt that would have a more impact on me because like insecurities would have come out, but what are you doing with your life in relation to the story? I feel is just really, really irrelevant. There's like not much going on there. Like, and the, it, it does kind of remind me of Video Girl I because the girl's named I, first of all, and she's a program, not really a human per se. But I don't know about this. The good thing, the good, 
the good thing about this, it is, it's obviously a PC game, it is available on Steam, and it is free. It's free to download, um, I guess it doesn't have multiple endings, because I'm pretty sure they all end like that. That's such a short game, why would you need to save your, like, like, uh, well, I guess that took us, like, 20-ish minutes, just because I, like, read it aloud and took my time with everything. I'm sure if you just, like, read in your head and spin through it, because I saw a bunch of people were finishing this in six minutes, and I was like, fuck, how am I going to get that into an episode, but, eh, hey, we did it, but... Guess you could speed run and see if there's like fucking multiple endings, but I mean, I don't know. This just really, I was expecting more of an impact from what I read through the reviews, and just Emily is away was so good. This is really, eh, but it's free at that too. The guy definitely has potential. Um, not quite sure what the creator's name was, but. There's definitely a lot of good things going in there. The music, other than the awkward loop I point out, I liked. The animation style I liked. The only thing that really irked me was the fucking standing up at the booth. Like, what? Could have animated them, like, her sitting at one side of the booth, and obviously it would have implied her at the other side. But, um... I don't know. Just really... It's I guess it's supposed to, like, make you think about how attached you get Something, I don't know, like, is it trying to point out, like, in the future, this is a very plausible thing, it, like, that could happen, where there's programs with artificial intelligence that can act like humans in those certain situations, and you can play out a date through the program, and then, I don't know, that's just, I feel, right now, that's just really something, something that's really hard to associate will associate yourself with as a player <laughs> i mean because emily is a way took place in the past but it was so technologically advanced that it's gonna be relevant for a while or its messages and like the whole structure of the game because like just replace aol instant messenger with fucking facebook messenger or uh kick or something or innocent messenger yeah <laughs> whatever but I don't know, it was, it was a cute game that's free to download. Just play real quick. And like, oh, okay, man. I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Definitely going to be playing some more um, visual novels down the road. There's going to be some non... Oh, Jesus, excuse me. There's going to be some non-romance visual novels definitely coming soon. There's the few downloads that I'm really excited to play. And look forward to that. And tomorrow for our new series, as well as your daily dose of vitamin J, guys. See ya.